Ah, me, I'd rather have a case of Bass Ale. (laughs) (sighs) People read slowly back then. No, I'm sorry, but Gilbert won't be able to play with you boys till later this afternoon. I want to play, but I can't. He's doing some work for me. The couch fell on me. Ah, springs. I hope I never see another spring as long as I live. I anticipated your complaint. So, you never want to see another spring, eh? (laughs) Okay, mister. I'll fix it so you get that wish. In hell. Who? Who are you? The name's Coily. (laughs) Coily the spring spike, they call me. Coily? Ew. I heard your wish, and, well, you're going to get it. No more springs for you from now on. No springs? I don't care. There's still butter and meatloaf. Hey, how do I get so old? My Tamagotchi seems okay. He parted his hair with a bandsaw. It's Edgar Kennedy one-man show is going good. No! I love Coily. <laughs> so one clod says one thing and the whole world pays? Yes. Can't decide between short sleeves or long? Split the difference. No springs! <laughs> Honey, get the swatter. Well, it's not as bad as the time I said no muscle tone. Never recovered from that. And no redemption, by the way. Well, so coily, I'm going to digitize everything. I got to widen my windows. I've been putting that off. Hey! The door! I own your ass, fat boy. Get back here! Where does Coily fit into God's plan for us? <laughs> wow, Billy Barty was driving the car last. No springs, my friend. No springs. We are friends, aren't we, Coily? <laughs> so, well, I still don't have to fix the couch, so eat me. You try it eight more times. Maybe it'll work. Hmm? No springs. <laughs> Stop him. Oh, no. gee, Coily, I didn't realize what I was wishing. Oh, man. I'm sorry for everything I said. Can't we call the whole thing off? Isn't there anything I can do? Please let me take back my wish. Oh. Well. No. Okay. I'll do it just this once. But next time, be careful. Don't ever make that wish again. (laughs) So, Coily waited all eternity for this moment, and he backs down almost instantly. (laughs) (laughs) Merry Christmas, you wonderful old couch. From then on, Coily visited him nightly until he was driven mad. Why the music? Are tumblers coming into the room? Looks like Eleanor Roosevelt. Sufficient springs! You see, fellows, the scientific principle of a spring is to absorb energy and then to release it. That's all there is to it. Well, you just about nailed me in the crotch there, Steve. Welcome to Divot Hills. Too bad, Joe. Yeah. But if you didn't hate springs so much, that wouldn't have happened. Rip, tear, expose, horrify friends. Nice pot. (laughs) Spring-loving bastard. Nice shot. Yes, it was. But if it wasn't for the amount of spring in the club shaft, combined with the spring of the rubber inside the ball, that drive wouldn't have gone anywhere at all. You see, all spring action depends on elasticity. 
the ability of material to return to its original form after it's been forced out of shape. By anti-spring extremists. You know, like the action of a springboard. And when you stop to think about it, even the ground, the earth is like a huge spring. It has okay, the come ability here. Come here, man. to absorb a blow Get and then transmit the shock from one point to another. And that's exactly what a spring is supposed to do. Transmit shock from one point to another. Okay, but let's get on with the game. Shouldn't this be over? You don't realize the number of springs that work for us every day. Why, there's a little spring in your cigarette lighter. And the spring in your pencil clip. Nice touch. And the huge springs that cushion the railroad trains. Why, I could name thousands of everyday uses for springs. Don't bother. More gray asses. I never realized until lately that springs have such a universal use. Why, there's springs in mouse traps, guns, exercisers, hinges, pogo sticks. Guns, huh? Why, yeah. it's practically impossible to name a single thing in which some sort of spring isn't essential, in one way or another. Well, look, God has a spring. Take that plane up there, for instance. It's a zero. It's got a set of shock absorbers on the wheels that depend on heavy springs controlled by a hydraulic arrangement. When the ship lands, the springs ease the shock so much you can't even tell when you're on the ground. Helps if you're stupid. And as far as an automobile is concerned, why, I wouldn't even attempt to tell you how many various kinds of springs are used, in addition to the springs and shock absorbers. Good. Lots of loose soil to bury someone out here. Hey! You know, the trouble with people like you guys is that just because most springs are usually hidden, you seldom think of the important part they play in the regular operation and enjoyment of our cars. Springless creeps. For instance, just take those springs I mentioned a while ago. The springs that are built under the car to provide <laughs> riding comfort. Spiral coil springs and the knee action in front balance the weight of the car with soft leaf springs in the rear so that the body always rides along on an even keel. Can you imagine what it would be like riding along a rough road like this without those special springs? Yeah. And then, too, the springs and the seat and back cushions take up any other little bumps that get through to the body of the car. Yes, sir, as far as riding comfort is concerned, the tires, the cushion springs, and the special springs under the car all combine to give us a ride that can't be topped. The 1941 Dull Gray Mobile. Hey, Joe, wake up. It's Coily's Army of Darkness. Look. Wake up, fellows. Well, that didn't take long. What's this? You guys are breaking up with me? You played a great game, boy, but you lost. What you need is a little more spring in the old... Uh... Mm, very funny. <laughs> you and your springs. I hope I <laughs> never see another... Stop! Don't say it. Don't ever wish anything like that as long as you live. You'll be the first to die. <laughs> Jam Handy reminds you to keep your preserves in a convenient place.